Welcome everyone, my name is Kai Hedi and I will be presenting our work on Drift Resilient Tab PFN, in context learning temporal distribution shifts on tabular data. This is a joint work with David Schnur, Noah Hollmann, Samuel Müller and Frank Hutter. Once deployed, many machine learning models start to lose their performance over time. This is mainly due to the assumption that train and test data is independent and identically distributed, which is often violated in real-world data. Addressing these shifts is an active area of research, especially temporal distribution shifts still remain underexplored. In our work, we explore the idea to include such shifts during the pre-training phase of TAP-PFN, a pre-trained tabular foundation model, to allow for implicit reasoning about these shifts. Let's briefly discuss the problem definition of temporal domain generalization. In this setting, we are given t datasets sampled at certain points in time in increasing order. Each dataset thereby consists of a set of instances sampled from a differing distribution. The task is then to learn a predictive model on these source domains that generalizes to future unseen domains. So how does our approach integrate into TAP-PFN? TAP-PFN learns to make predictions assuming data is generated through causal processes. For this, tabular datasets are sampled from a prior that is modeled through structural causal models. Thereby, the generated SEMs serve as causal skeletons describing the causal relationships of assembled data. To sample the datasets, a generated SCM is expanded into a functional representation, modeling the assignment functions of a causal representation. As said, we'd like to adapt the prior of TAP PFN to generate datasets that are subject to temporal distribution shifts. For this, we select a subset of these causal relationships to shift over time while instances in a dataset are generated. Let's now discuss how we model these edge shifts. Instead of defining the functions explicitly, we employ a secondary SCM called HyperNet that takes a temporal domain index as input and outputs correlated edge shifts applied to the data generating network. We now look at the evaluation of our approach, starting with the results of a quantitative analysis. We compare our model TAP-PFN dist to the unmodified TAP-PFN base, gradient boosted decision trees, as well as the two best performing domain generalization methods of the wild time benchmark. Across the 8 synthetic and 10 real world datasets, our method demonstrates the best predictive performance in all metrics on out of distribution data, with stronger improvements on the synthetic ones. Furthermore, our method shows much stronger calibration on out-of-distribution samples while baselines are often overconfident. Let's now compare our approach to the baseline tab PFN qualitatively. The dataset evaluated here is the intersecting blobs dataset, in which three clusters gradually move past each other across domains. Both models get the first four domains 0 to 3 as training data and have to extrapolate the movements to the domains 4 to 6. As we can see, our model in the top row clearly adjusts its decision boundary and extrapolates the shifts observed in the training dataset, resulting in much less misclassification. Also, our model decreases its prediction certainty over time, improving calibration. Overall, we present a novel approach that handles distribution shifts implicitly in a unified way. Thereby, our hypernet approach allows for Bayesian reasoning over the shifts present in a dataset. We demonstrate that this approach outperforms all of our baselines in terms of out-of-distribution performance. As for the limitations, our model is currently limited to small datasets and our prior may not accurately describe the shifts contained in real-world data. For future work, first, further research on modeling real-world distribution shifts is necessary to better capture these during pre-training. Secondly, our approach can be extended to introduce spatial or spatial-temporal distribution shifts during pre-training. Thanks for your attention.